YouTube, what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and in this video, I basically did a uh, drop fade. Um, this vid, this this kid had like green at the top of his hair, and I thought it was dope. So, you know, I thought the end to end result would come out dope, but I don't really, you know, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about the cut. You know what I mean? I feel like it was a dope blend. But uh, yeah, the steps on this uh, cut is a little different. This is kind of a dummy proof for anybody that wants to learn how to fade. Uh, this kind of technique is like, it's, it's, it's just simple and it's easy and it's, you know, it's, it's dummy proof, all right? It's your boy 360GZ. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. No, this is not a brass knuckle. This is a bracelet that I haven't put it on yet, all right? So just, you know, this is not a brass knuckle. I'm not going to knock you guys out. Chill, all right? It's your boy 360GZ. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, YouTube, the best thing you can do before starting a cut is brushing and combing the hair in place. All right, YouTube, to do this drop fade, uh, I'm using the Andy Slimline Pro Allies and I'm balding out my first guideline. I'm using this clipper because it's easier to get the shape that you want when you uh, kind of design your, your drop fade and that's all this is uh, I'm just kind of like going with the shape of his head you see how if you take a look at the top of his head I'm going in the same shape as the top and I'm dropping it uh, down as I go back Usually, I would just put the design in as the drop fade and take my wall balding clippers to bald everything out. But on this on this uh, haircut, um, I don't really need to do that because it's not that much hair I'm taking off. Uh, I'm basically starting my guy line low so that it could be a greater transition for the blend. I'm going to stop right here and go to the left side to the temple and uh, basically I'm going to start by you know shaping it from this side because you don't want to go um, on the uh, right side and go all the way to the left side because it's kind of hard to keep a you know keep that same shape so you, you, you guys want to start from the temple area to the back and uh, that's just how I'm doing it right now. You guys might have questions like wouldn't this uh, dole out your, your liners if you're doing it like this? Um, it will but you know I always buy new blades so this, it really doesn't really matter to me that I'm using my liners to bald out. Right now I'm using my Andy Pro Foil Lithium Shaver to uh, just to clean up the, the excess hair at the bottom. Now I'm not all going all the way up to the line. I'm just taking out the hair that's on the bottom to make it more like a razor line bald. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm doing throughout the whole entire bottom half of the uh, client's hair. Now with my Andy's Masters, the next guy line is the lever open and I'm going in the same shape as I uh, set my first ball guy line and I'm just going over the guy line and going up about an inch uh, which leaves me room to uh, start my next guy line and, and have a greater transition. Um, right now I'm using my corners um, for the turn part right here. I'm kind of using the corners. Um, 
when cutting hair, you, you want to use mainly your corners, especially when you're putting a kind of contour shape to a client's head. Uh, it's extremely important to use your uh, corners uh, whenever you try to do like a burst taper or like a taper with a shape to it or any blend that has like a curve or, 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 or anything like that. Um, corners are uh, come in handy. In this area in the back of his head, um, you kind of got to go over it multiple times because if your client has like these lumps on the back of his head, you kind of got to get in there with your corners and uh, make sure all the hair is the same length. Right here I'm just kind of flicking out a little bit, uh, setting my guy line in. I know I'm, like most barbers, they would knock down this bulk up at the top and just knock it all down, but I feel like that's, for me, it, it's, it's adding another step and uh, more time, you know, being wasted. So I, I just attack it straight on. Um, I know my guy lines and I, I, I see my guy lines very well using my steps. Next guideline is the one guard open, and right now I'm kind of flicking out because I don't want to, you know, you know, set too much of a harsh guideline. Um, right now I'm going up a little bit more than an inch. Um, this being because I want my transition to be a little bit greater and just to, you know, separate the lever open from the. Uh, one guard open. It's really important to just trust in your guidelines and remember your guidelines and you know stick with it. You know there is no no different type of you know guidelines for different hair or you know I, I use the same guidelines on every single client. Next guideline is the two guard open, and all I'm doing is going straight up. All right, I'm not really setting in a guideline. I'm just kind of, you know, knocking off the bulk at the top and just putting the clipper to his head and running it straight up. Working my way to the back, I'm still going in that upward motion. Um, I kind of look at things like the top of the head as a box. So in theory, this is what you kind of have to look at it as if, like it's a box. So you're kind of going straight up because you're going to, I'm going to be using the um, clipper over comb technique anyway. So um, I'm just trying to get everything uh, that's sticking out of his head off. Alright, so I'm adding two more steps to my method, and right now I'm using the one guard open, and I'm just kind of flicking out that, uh, that, that line between the two and the one. So right now I'm just softening up that, that, that line, and just, it's real quick, um, all you're doing is soften up the line to uh, make the transition better. Next uh, step is the one guard closed. All right, now what you're doing is softening up that middle line so that when you attack the uh, the line with the zero guard closed, it can it can knock out more easily than than you just you know jumping right into the one guard closed. This softens everything up a little bit. Next step 
With the zero guard closed, flick out that middle line. Now, when you flick out this middle line, it's going to be hard to see, but just keep your position and, and kind of know where you're going with this. All you need to do is flick out that, that bottom, not the bottom line, but the middle line, and just, you know, it, it makes it way more easier to get out when you're using the uh, one guard close. As you guys are starting to notice, I'm only taking a couple of flicks and then, you know, the line is wiped out. Working my way to the right side, uh, still, you know, keeping position to where my middle line is and just starting to knock it out and, you know, really, really, you know, not being afraid to, to, to go in and kind of detail my work, you know what I mean? Like, it's not all about, you know, guidelines and, and, and it's, it, it's more freestyle than anything. Like, you guys got to be able to visualize, you know, and see the bulk and uh, attack it with your corners and just, you know, w w with what you see, you know what I mean? Like, barbers have that, that unique eye that is able to see what others don't see. So just make sure you use that eye. And, um, you know, try to get it out as best as you can. Right now I got my Andy's Masters, the one guard open, and just doing some detail work. You know, uh, knocking out that bulk that I didn't get when I set the guy line in. Right now, I'm using the lever close, and I'm knocking out that bottom line. now. If you want to, you could set your uh, lever to the middle and just go all around the head and soften up the, the, the line. But right now, I'm, I'm kind of experienced, so I know what I'm doing. So I just, I'm just going to attack it head on and just close the lever and just use my flick out motion. But if you're a beginner and you have trouble fading, uh, using these baby steps will, will do you some justice. This is like a dummy proof, basically for anybody that's starting out cutting hair, that, that, that wants to learn and don't have the confidence to just go at it, you know, with these guidelines. But, you know, working at it step by step works also. Like, um, use your guards, use your levers, open them slightly, close them slightly, those are all key points on on a great transition. Right now I'm using my Andy shavers, just knocking down, you know, the, the, the line a little bit more. And notice that I'm going in a downward motion. I'm not really going upward, because uh, that takes off more hair. Uh, right now I'm just softening up the line and just, you know, trying to, trying to perfect my blend as much as possible. Right now I'm doing clipper over comb with my uh, my bald uh, wall clippers. Um, these are really the magic clips. I just customized them to make them uh, balding clippers. Um, right now I'm just, you know, visualizing his head as a box, as a high top. Uh, and I'm just, you know, going in that high top motion, making sure all the hair that's, that's sticking out is cut off.
As you see right here, turning the chair, there's hair sticking out, and what I'm gonna do is just run that clipper over comb and make sure that the hair is going straight up and there's no hair sticking out. Same thing on this side, I see hair sticking out, so I'm gonna go up, but on this side, his hair doesn't stick out, it kinda actually goes up, so I'm gonna use a different type of technique. I'm gonna run the clipper straight up, and 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 I'm gonna run the uh, comb straight up, and run the clipper up and down, so that I can uh, get the hair, because his hair sticks straight up. Right now I'm saturating the hair with water, making sure uh, the hair is fully damped. I'm using a wide tooth comb because uh, his hair is really thick. I don't want to use a small comb because that's going to snag and uh, you don't want that for your client make it uncomfortable. But right now, like I said, I'm just spraying the hair down and making sure the hair is wet. Right now I'm going to be taking off a half inch and what I'm doing is setting my first guideline when it comes to uh, scissor, scissor work. Um, I'm not an expert, let me, let, me, let me just clear this up because some of you guys be going in. I'm not an expert, you know, when it comes to the scissors, but I do know how to set guidelines and I do know how to start from the front and go to the back and cross check my work. But you guys, I'm still learning when it comes to the scissors. You know, I'll make it look like I know what I'm doing, 100%, but, you know, I just know the basics when it comes to, uh, you know, the scissors, the shear work. Um, uh, I, I know, uh, what is it, like thinning out the hair, I know how to do all that, but, you know, when it comes to the, the technical part about, you know, using the shears, you know, if, if you guys in the comment section want to give me some tips on what I could have done better, you know, it's always appreciated. I, I take advice. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the greatest barber in the world. There's there's plenty of great barbers out there that's just not on YouTube. So uh, if you guys have any advice to give me about, you know, share work, I'm willing to accept it. Always uh, willing to learn. And uh, yeah, man, it's... it's I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, a, a master barber as some of these barbers would call themselves. You know, I'm always going to be a student of the game. There's always stuff new to learn. Always something, a new hairstyle to learn. So you never could really just be a master at something. It's just way too much information to learn. Way too much ways you can grow in this game. So I don't know, man. I'll, I'll forever be a student. Right now I'm putting in lay right in his hair, just making sure it's all through, all even distributed in, inside the client's head. Um, and then after this I'm going to do some blow drying and style. Uh, I like to use my comb when I do the blow drying style because that's what I'm most familiar with uh, and comfortable with. Um, I haven't really, you know, been too fond of the style brushes. Um, the combs usually work best for me. Um, but maybe, who knows, you know, maybe down the line I'll pick up the, the brush and do some more, you know, brush work with uh, the client's hair and kind of 
you know, practice a little bit more on that. But for now, I like using the comb. Right now I'm using my modified Andy GTX, uh, and yes I do have a gold blade on there. The reason why I'm not telling you guys where the gold, go get your gold blades from is because they're kind of limited, so if I tell everybody uh, where they can go get them, you know, it's, it's going to be out of stock, and I, I, there's no more that, I, you know, if I ever need any more, it's not going to be there for me, you know what I mean? So, that's mainly why I've been kind of hush-hush about these uh, gold blades, but real talk I could I could modify any blade it doesn't have to be a gold you don't have to have a gold blade to get your blades to hit hard you know what I mean I proved that when I uh, had the, the regular blades on I was just so happy that I was able to get these uh, gold blades back in my arsenal because you know they just look nice and I know you guys want to have the blade and it looks nice and it's like oh man I want them too but man I can't just be giving out information like that I, I gotta be exclusive some type of way Right now, I'm doing the curve on his uh, right side and uh, just, you know, visualizing and attacking the, the way I want his lineup to be. I'm not going to do a line in the front because not everybody gets, you know, lines in the front, especially uh, uh, Caucasians and uh, Asians and, and, and Mexicans. Usually the black culture and the black community get them hard lines in the front so I don't want you guys to look at me like oh wait well, he don't got the line in the front oh, no, no 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 not everybody gets the line in the front all right most most Caucasians just like the 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 line on the side And this is the finished product. Like I always say, if you like the cut, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed, you're watching my videos, but you are not subscribed yet, alright? Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I got more videos coming out. It's always back to back to back to back. I always feel crying. So it's your boy 360 GZ and I'm out of here. Cheers.